and welcome back to the Creeping Fig Cottage Kitchen. Today we are making a ham ball. That's gonna be exciting. And we are gonna find out if we can put this vintage recipe back on the modern table. Let's get started on this ham ball. We are gonna begin by placing two four and a half ounce cans of deviled ham into a bowl. I remember people eating deviled ham when I was younger. I don't recall actually eating any of it myself, but I know it is beloved. So if you love it, let us know in the comments. Maybe make some uh, a, a ham ball for yourself. Now we are going to chop up a, what is going to equate to about three tablespoons of green olives with pimento. And I'm just gonna give them a rough chop and hope they don't fly all over the place because I think it'd be nice to see the olives inside. Olives going into the deviled ham. There we are. Now we are going to put in about a tablespoon of prepared mustard. You can use any kind you like. And some hot sauce to your taste. Now we're going to give this a stir. ball ingredients are all stirred up looking lovely what we're going to try to do is form this into a ball on our serving plate. don't want to make too much of a mess so I'm going to try to get it into the middle The idea is to shape this into a ball. Now that our ham is in a ball shape, it is gonna go into the refrigerator to chill while we whip up the frosting. To make the frosting for our ham ball, we are using three ounces of cream cheese. To that, we are gonna add two teaspoons of whole milk. We're gonna get this all stirred up to be our frosting. <laughs> Upon further review, this frosting is an actual hand beater situation. So we're gonna add a little bit more milk and we're gonna whip it up. Now that our ham ball has been chilled in the refrigerator, it is time to frost it with our cream cheese frosting. So I'm gonna start. I've never frosted a ham ball before. Cakes, yes, ham balls, no. I'm just gonna start with a big dollop on the top. So I'm just gonna let gravity do a little bit of this work for me. Get it on the top and then slowly start to shift it down until our ham ball is nice and coated. You want to make sure you're chilling in between all the steps because cold is our friend. I'm gonna call this ham ball frosted. Now it goes back into the refrigerator. I'm gonna leave it in for about an hour or two, but it needs to come out at least 15 minutes before you serve it. Now that our ham ball is frosted and chilled, we are going to serve it up. We're gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of parsley for a little bit of color. Look at that, that's nice. Parsley for color. And now we're gonna add our crackers. The recipe called for assorted crackers, so that is what we're going to present it with. 
And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the ham ball. And actually, we're gonna give it a taste right now. <laughs> Cut a little piece out. It's still pretty soft, even though it's been chilling. And there goes nothing. Well, if you like olives and ham and cream cheese, I think you'd really like this. <laughs> see if everyone else enjoys the taste. Ham ball. Lots of chewy. Pretty good. Atticus, what are your thoughts? A little weird. A little weird? <laughs> I hate green olives. Are we bringing it back to the modern table? Maybe. I think so. I actually really like it. <laughs> <laughs> 